On January 12, 2024, NASA and Lockheed Martin formally unveiled the new X-59 supersonic aircraft. This experimental airplane holds the potential to transform air travel by providing crucial data that will reshape the landscape of commercial aviation, enabling a new era of supersonic flight. The unveiling ceremony was held in front of a crowd of nearly 150 attendees at the legendary Lockheed Martin Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California, marking a significant achievement in their efforts to address a persistent challenge in supersonic aviation. The Sonic Boom. Unlike other classified Skunk Works projects, the X-59 is not a covert military aircraft, yet it captivates attention with its unique features and significance in advancing supersonic technology. When the curtain fell to reveal the X-59, the audience applauded and held their mobile phones to capture the new jet, bathed in red and blue hues from the stage lights. Featuring landing gear borrowed from the F-16 and powered by an F-414 engine, typically found on F-A-18 fighter jets. The X-59 boasts a canopy reminiscent of an F-5. However, instead of a conventional windshield, the front of the aircraft showcases a smooth, extended snout, enhanced with cameras and optical sensors. The new X-59 Quest, short for Quiet Supersonic Technology, marks NASA's latest X-plane, emphasizing its experimental nature. This innovative aircraft is the culmination of decades of research, incorporating distinct manufacturing approaches such as augmented reality systems, robotic drilling, and advanced 3D modeling techniques. As such, the X-59 holds a distinct status even among other X-planes. According to Jim Freak, NASA's associate administrator, each aircraft with the X-plane designation serves a specific purpose, testing novel technologies or aerodynamic concepts, pushing the limits of flight. Once these concepts are proven, they often find a home in museums, underscoring what makes the X-59 truly unique. But what sets this aircraft apart, and what is the ultimate goal behind its development? The X-59 is central to NASA's Quest mission, aimed at providing data for reconsidering regulations restricting commercial supersonic flight over land. With a targeted speed of 1.4 times the speed of sound, or 1,500 km per hour, the aircraft's design ensures quieter sonic thumps, challenging the 50-year ban on such flights due to disruptive sonic booms. The Quest team will now focus on integrated systems testing, engine runs, and taxi testing, in preparation for the X-59's first flight, scheduled for later this year. Following tests at Skunk Works, the aircraft will move to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in California for further operations. Upon completing flight tests, NASA plans to fly the X-59 over selected U.S. cities, gathering public feedback on the perceived sound of the aircraft. So, the X-59 is a unique experimental airplane, not a prototype. Its technologies are intended to shape future generations of quiet supersonic aircraft, according to NASA. Measuring approximately 30 meters, with the nose accounting for over a third at 11.6 meters, it's evident that the X-59 isn't a prototype for commercial supersonic aircraft. So, those aiming to develop supersonic passenger planes must grapple with the challenge of matching the X-59's quietness in their designs. NASA and Lockheed Martin aren't alone in their pursuit of commercial supersonic flight. Colorado-based Boom Supersonic is advancing a commercial supersonic passenger jet, the XB-1, with plans for its first flight in 2027. So, what do you think? Do you find the interest and push for supersonic flight as interesting as we do? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.